Salut à tous, ici Pixel BQ à Paris pour vous présenter les derniers jeux édités par Devolver Digital. Could you present your game? Um, so Titan Souls is a game about fighting bosses. You only have one arrow and you only have one HP and each boss that you come across has a weak spot and it's just a case of um, hitting the boss once in the weak spot to kill them. And it's uh, basically a series of very intensely difficult boss fights which are all completely unique and all different from one another. What were your main sources of inspiration uh, during the making of the game? So um, we actually started uh, making the game as a uh, prototype during a game jam competition where what you have to do is uh, put a game together in three days um, as a team for this little competition. It's mostly just for fun. Um, but before we started this, then we thought maybe it would be fun to make a game that's inspired by Shadow of the Colossus, the PS2 game where you also only fight bosses. Um, but then when we started, then we got this uh, theme of you only get one, which is why you only have one arrow and you only have one HP. So it's like... Um, It started out inspired by Shadow of the Colossus, but then it became its own thing. And I'd say the end result is something which is like a very intense, very hardcore Legend of Zelda game with just bosses. When do you intend to release your game? It's actually just been released today. So today is our launch day. Uh, we've been working on it for the last year and five months, and it's out now on PC, PS4, PS Vita, and Mac. Ce fut aussi l'occasion de découvrir le premier jeu du studio Dodge Roll, Enter the Gungeon. Ce dungeon crawler vous propose d'incarner divers mercenaires en quête de rédemption à la recherche d'une arme capable de tuer leur passé. Pour arriver au bout de votre quête, il faudra user de vos divers talents afin de défoncer tout ce qui bouge. Le jeu apparaît fort accessible et le principe du dodge roll ainsi que les interactions entre les personnages et le décor rendent les combats vraiment dynamiques. Je vous conseille donc de bien surveiller ce petit géographisme super cute qui sortira courant 2015 sur PS4, PC, Mac et Linux. Could you present your game? Uh, Ronin is a turn-based action platformer. It starts initially as a real-time game, a platformer. Uh, but when you enter a combat, with, uh, whenever your enemies see you, Uh, the game becomes a turn-based game, basically. Uh, one move of your character is met with uh, one move of your enemies. Can you tell us uh, more about uh, what you had in mind during the making of the game? Uh, what I had in mind, uh, I wanted to create a stealth game, a stealth platformer for a mobile device, uh, iPad perhaps. Uh, with a touchscreen uh, input uh, controller uh, and the problem I had uh, was that uh, devices like that do not uh, uh, perform well, well when playing games that require uh, complex, uh, complex input and my solution to that problem was uh, creating uh, a game that would wait for you for, for the input of the player And that initial assumption basically uh, shaped all the, the design decisions I, I made uh, during creation of this game. When is your game coming out? Uh, Ronin is coming out on May 20. Our city is plagued by crime! We need a leader to tackle the issues! Développé par le studio anglais Roll7, Not a Hero se caractérise comme un shooter politico-barré. Vous y incarnez Steve, un tueur amateur engagé par un lapin anthropomorphe venu du futur, Bunny Lord. Celui-ci, se présentant aux élections municipales, propose dans son programme de mettre un terme à la criminalité qui ravage votre ville. Ralliant d'autres tueurs à votre cause, il vous faudra user de la violence pour dissoudre le crime. Chaque personnage propose son style de jeu. À la manière d'un Hotline Miami, vous aurez le choix de nettoyer les immeubles à l'arme à feu, au katana ou même avec vos petites mimines. Vous pourrez vous confronter à cet univers où le mot finesse n'existe pas à partir du 7 mai sur PC et courant automne sur PlayStation 4 et PlayStation Vita. Et voilà, c'est fini J'espère que ça vous aura plu. Moi, je vous dis à la prochaine et en attendant, jouez bien